Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Cancer, I, I was in the middle of doing your reading, and I had to restart. Um, I had to talk to my daughter before she left, so we're just going to restart this, okay? Um, anyway, my darlings, just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind, Cancer. Don't try to force it, okay? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, the love, the comments. Um, I did read a comment, you guys, from the last video that I put out. Um, someone was asking me to change the tape, put the table back against the wall, and I can't do that. Um, I turned the table around at the specifications of the divine, okay? And the energy is better here, like this. But it was making you dizzy. Somebody said it was making her dizzy. I'm so sorry about that. What I did was I turned the camera angle. Um, so I'm hoping this is better because it's more of, for, it's, instead of looking at the cards from the side, you're looking at them from more of a front view. Let me know if this is better for you. Okay, you guys, please drop a comment and let me know what's going to work for you too. Okay. Um, anyway, Cancer, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being my peeps out here. I'm super excited that we're in October. It's my favorite month of the year. So I'm really happy today. Um, anyway, Cancer, what I'm getting here is two people, two exes. Um, and the, the movie scene that they're showing, well, the movie that I'm picking up on is The Butcher's Wife, okay, um, with Demi Moore, one of my favorites. You guys really need to check out that movie. Um, I feel like you have a Leo, Lemke, okay? That was this person's, that's the character in the movie, right? Leo Lemke, you could actually be dealing with a Leo, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe Capricorn energy. This person is a full-blown liar, okay? They lied to somebody who wanted an opportunity with you. Um, this is an, is, is an XX, okay? Um, and this, I'm seeing this um, hermit energy as an actual person, okay? So these two... We're talking about you. They know each other. This Leo or Leo Aries Sagittarius is fire sign. They were really jealous of your connection with this new person um, because they saw this new person as somebody who would be a really good match for you. They instantly were set on fire over this. Very, very jealous, very envious, and they wanted to do whatever they could to get in between that connection for you. Okay, we pick up on these two all the time. Um, so what this, what this XX did was get together with um, with your person, right, and lie to them about you. They said whatever they could. The One of the main things they said was that you were crazy, okay? If you guys know the movie The Butcher's Wife, the husband, right, that she's married to, starts talking smack about her behind her back, telling everybody that he thinks she's crazy. She's nuts. Um, she freaks him out because of her absolutely accurate psychic abilities okay um and so he's running around telling everybody that she's crazy all right and i feel like that's one of the things that this person said to this other person here okay these two you could be dealing with a a taurus virgo capricorn heavy on virgo a leo aries sagittarius heavy on leo okay so um this King of Wands energy, talk smack about you, spread a bunch of lies, told this person a bunch of lies about you to get them to turn away from you. And they believed the lies, okay? They believed the lies, Cancer. Now, since then, this King of Pentacles hasn't been able to get you off of their mind. They're constantly thinking about you. They're constantly looking at you like in review of you, okay? Um, like, is she really crazy? Is cancer really crazy? Is is uh, cancer really, um, I, I feel like this king of, king of wands said a bunch of stuff, okay? I feel like they said everything opposite of what you really are. 
Uh, they said you would never amount to anything. They said you'd never be successful. They said that you would um, always be codependent on someone. They said that you would never have any money, that you weren't motivated, that you weren't driven, that you had no good ideas, and that you were crazy because you're very psychic, okay? And this King of Pentacles believed them. And that's why this person ghosted you. They left you behind really quickly. I feel like they didn't really want to. Okay, this is somebody who really, really wanted you, Cancer. But they believed this Leo Lemke's lies. Okay, <laughs> that's the name of the person in the movie, Leo Lemke. Since they've been watching you, Cancer, this person knows the truth now. Okay, they can see the truth. The, in just how you're sorry, Cancer, I don't know why my battery died. It was a brand new battery. Um, anyway, they can see in just how you're living um, and, and um, that you're independent, you're successful. You could have some kind of um, platform out here in the public eye, or you could just be posting on social media. This person has been watching you like this whole time, gaining clarity about you doing their homework, maybe even looking into your finances, your money, okay? Um, they've seen that you, you were telling the truth the whole time, and they can see that the one that they, that they listened to fed them full of lies, fed their head full of lies and BS, okay? I feel like when this person walked away from you, Cancer, they were very burdened. They didn't want to walk away. Okay, but I feel like the things that this King of Wands said to them scared them, you know? Um, they didn't want to take the risk. This King of Pentacles energy, this is somebody who's one, they're interested in abundance. They're interested in being grounded and stable. That's all that they want. They want stability, okay? And they, di they didn't want to take the risk in possibly getting with somebody who they were told was crazy and codependent. Okay, that those are the two main things that, that, that this King of Wands told this person. Now, these two still know each other, right? And I feel like um, this King of Wands would jump at the chance to lie about you again. But this King of Pentacles is seeing for themselves. They're getting their own clarity on you by watching you. You're out here having a victory, coming off of a battle right? Um, they're feeling horrible for putting you through this now because they see that um, you did nothing to deserve this. You didn't deserve what you got. You don't even deserve to be lied about out here. They're seeing that your intuition and your spiritual abilities are very, very real because you're spot on accurate about it. They can see that you've been walking with nothing but integrity, like you're the personification here of integrity and strength and truth, okay? Um, and they can see how abundant and stable and successful you are, how you've transformed your life. Um, I, I feel like, and, and you're independent. You wouldn't have been codependent on anybody. And you did this all on your own, Okay, um, they're witnessing all of this. They've been watching you this whole time, gaining this clarity, and they're realizing they were lied to. Okay, they're realizing they missed out on a blessing in love, listening to this uh, fire sign. I want to say it's a fire sign, right? I keep picking up on Leo. So you've got a Leo Lemke in your life, right? Now they're in a whole lot of regret because they see the person they were listening to was extremely toxic and just jealous. They were just jealous of this connection. They didn't want anyone around you. They wanted you to be isolated. They didn't want this particular person with you because they knew that this person here was good for you. You were good for them. This was a good, strong connection. This was a good, strong connection. And that's what, um, you know, this, I feel like this King of Wands was threatened by that in some way. You know, they didn't want you with this other person. You know, so yeah, I feel like this King of Wands is still trying to lie about you, telling people that you're crazy. All right. 
um, and your person that listened now feels like a complete fool, all right, forever listening, and when this, I'm telling you, when this King of Pentacles finds this King of Wands, the liar, there's going to be a fight. I kind of get the sense that they're looking for them now, okay? Now that they know the truth, I feel like a big fight is going to pop off because they're realizing here that this King of Wands just played them right out of the best connection they're ever going to find. And now, you know, and you were innocent. Look at this. You were innocent in this with the Six of Cups. All right. All they can do is think about you. Both of these people are from your past. They're both exes. I feel like you were with this King of Wands first. Left them behind because they're toxic. Okay. Um, and then you may have met this, um, this King of Pentacles hermit energy, possibly a Virgo. Um, so these are both exes who know each other, but oh my gosh, man, when this King of Pentacles finds it, if they ever see this King of Wands, they are going to whoop their behind. I'm telling you, because they see you as their match. I'm I cannot make it up because you are their match. This is your person. This king of pentacles was your person. Possibly a twin flame soulmate connection. That one that they can't shake. Now, now they're like, it feels like they're, they're, they're neck deep in a major problem here because now they don't want anybody else but you. But how do they come forward and tell you that they believed all these lies about you? They completely underestimated you, Cancer. And your wifey material. And this King of Wands was telling them, no, 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 don't go after Cancer no matter what you do. Cancer's crazy. Cancer talks about all kinds of crazy things, right? Don't go after cancer because cancer is not going to be there for you. They're going to be codependent on you. They're not going to be reliable. Look, they see it was all to sabotage this connection. I kid you not. I cannot make this up. There's going to be a fight that goes down. Because you know what? You, I feel like you are the wheel of fortune. You are the wheel of fortune. You are, um, you're the gift you're the blessing and you're like everything and they don't want to be with anybody else they see the truth cancer with this ace of swords and they know that they were played by this king of wands you may even witness a fight or hear about a physical fight that goes down between them because i feel like now this king of pentacles is really ticked off okay really ticked yeah they were manipulated they were manipulated into veering off into a new direction and away from you. That's all that this King of Wands wanted to do. That's all they wanted to do. And you ended up being the Empress. Look at this. You're every queen in the deck. Yeah. Oh, all of this came out, Cancer. Yeah, look. And, you, you know, you gave them nothing but good, the best love they're ever going to find, both of them. I feel like you, you, you nurtured and cared for both of them, okay? But you're leaving with that cup. You may not want to have anything to do with either one of these people anymore. I, I feel like this, this King of Pentacles is, is on the verge, man. They can't take it. Look, they want to come back in, Cancer. This person's in love with you. You could be dealing with, I've got heavy Virgo out here or possibly a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but this person knows, look, I feel like they're bossing up into an emperor. They know the truth. They know the truth, and they can see that the things that this King of Wands was, um, was saying about you was very strategic. They were saying things specifically to get this person to turn away from you, and, and it worked. It worked. That's why this person left you behind because they believe the gossip. Look at all the gossip about an actual earth angel here. Nothing but gossip from an immature individual about a true, real-life earth angel, okay? 
an earth angel, a star. You're a divine being here. You're a divine feminine. And this was a twin flame connection with you and this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, this was your twin flame. It's right here, my darling. It's right here. They're realizing this now. They believed, they believed a little page, you know, somebody who was very toxic. And I feel like they didn't even give you the decency of an explanation. They didn't tell you that they were uh, listening to somebody else talk about you. They, they, didn't, they didn't even give you so much as maybe even a simple goodbye. Okay, they just kind of left. They were there. It was beautiful. It was a strong connection, and they bailed. And that's why. It's because they listened to the Leo Lemke in your life. Okay? It's just the name of the character in the movie, you guys. All right? Now you're moving forward. Look at you. You've got, and you've got 10 of pentacles here just for you. Very financially stable and successful cancer. You've grown something solid and it isn't going anywhere. It's yours, right? Um, whatever this is, it could be a, a business, a craft, or you could just be getting like promotion after promotion and just um, you're upgrading in your life. You could even be moving away to a new location somewhere in the world. You could be working on the internet. You could go anywhere in the world you want as long as they have internet. All right. And I feel like you've got all of this money, all of this uh, um, financial abundance, you guys, like for real. And this King of Pentacles, man, they're mad. They are, I feel like they're fuming mad at this king of wands um they realize that uh, this is a this is a realization this is knowing the truth this is having clarity that they just wanted to drive this person away from you and it worked they fell for it they were duped out of a beautiful connection that they're never going to find another you you know they're never gonna you only have one twin and i feel like this was your twin flame for someone here, whoever this is for, this was. And I feel like that's how you see this person too, this King of Pentacles. You see them as your person, you know? Oh my gosh, there's going to be such a huge fight between these two. I'm telling you, Cancer, when this King of Pentacles finds this person, oh man, it's going down. Um, yeah, they're realizing it, though. This was a true soulmate connection that they walked away from. They left you out in the cold, thinking you were nothing. Believe in the lies of this uh, King of Wands energy. Um, yeah, and, and I feel like they treated you like you, like you didn't matter. I feel like, yeah, this, they're going to be in a whole lot of regret. Now, Cancer, you may not want to talk to either one of them. I feel like you're just fed up. You're, you're fed up. You're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired of both of these people, okay? And the stagnancy and the lies and the gossip and the betrayal and the backstabbing, okay? You did nothing wrong to either one of them. You were completely innocent in this. This king of, of wands just didn't want anyone else around you, and they certainly didn't want to, you to get with this king of pentacles because they knew that this person was your true match. Yeah. <clears throat> now, now, um, this king of pentacles doesn't know how to get you back because this has been going on maybe for some of you up to three years. They've kept their back turned. They just turned their back on you, put you out in the cold. That was it. Put an end to this. Possibly didn't talk to you anymore. How are they going to get you back now? This person is mad. And the divine is like, see, now you learn a lesson. Number one, never misjudge an earth angel. You'd never misjudge anybody. You don't know who they are. You don't know their story. You know nothing, okay? Number two, um, know who it is that you're talking about, right? Know who it is that, that you're listening to or talking with because this person was a liar. I feel like the divine is um, 
I feel like the higher font is out here saying we're showing you everything everything so you can see everything clearly so you can learn your lesson all right I feel like they're also being led forward to you um, to make an apology wanting a new beginning this king of Pentacles wants a second chance they know that you're intuitive they know that you were telling the truth the whole time and they should have believed you they're gonna whoop this king of of um, this king of wands butt and then they're coming directly to you cancer with a big old apology begging you for another chance okay so get ready get ready um yeah and here like i'm i'm ready i'm ready to put all of these burdens down and leave this whole environment behind i feel like that's what you're doing you know, and here with two sets of three swords in your boat, you were betrayed by both of these people. They both broke your heart. Okay, they both did. And you just want to leave them behind. I, I'm feeling like this person may not get another chance. Okay, they may not get another chance with you. And I feel like you're keeping your moves hidden. Some of you are making a location change, leaving the whole environment altogether. You know, going somewhere where no one, look, you want, you want a chance at love. And as long as you're anywhere near this king of wands, they're going to betray and sabotage any new connection that you may have. Okay. And I feel like you know that. Some of you are leaving the scene, maybe moving away just to get away from this person, okay? Yeah, you're leaving, and that's, that's what happened in the movie as well. She leaves. She's, she's done with the talking about her behind her back. She's done with people calling her crazy. She's done with people being afraid of her psychic abilities. She's tired of waiting around for somebody who won't admit that it's her true twin flame connection. You guys watch the movie. So she leaves. She leaves them all behind. She's like, I'm packing my bags. I'm out of here. I'm done. You know, and he comes to um, get back together. Cancer, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just like the movie Butcher's Wife. Um, so yeah, you may want to watch that movie. It's a fabulous movie. You won't be sorry that you did. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're the intuitive one here. You're the one with psychic abilities. You're the one, um, that people are trash talking here. But as you leave to go to calmer waters, this person, this king of pentacles, they want to come back in for another chance. And for whoever this is for, and it won't be for all of you, this one here, this is your true soulmate connection. It is. They felt it. You felt it. But they just listened to the wrong person. They believed the wrong person when they should have believed in you. So get ready, Cancer, because this person, look at their boss. Sorry, Cancer, I don't know why my batteries keep dying. Um, honestly, that usually doesn't happen, so I don't know. Somebody doesn't want this message getting out, and I kind of get the sense it's this liar. But, um, yeah, your person is bossing up. Now look at this. We've got the king to the queen of pentacles, um, and we've got the twin flame soulmate card, and we've got the emperor to the empress. If I could find the empress in here, that would be great. And we've got the emperor to the empress. This person's coming back in to get their true twin, twin flame back. They're coming back in, Cancer, so get ready. Um, they want to get back together. They want to reunite. They want a second chance, and they're going to give you a whopping huge apology. Um, and they're being led straight back to you, okay, by the divine. So get ready, you guys, because here it comes. It's about to happen. Anyway, I, I am going to take this into the extended because I want to see what's going to happen between this King of Pentacles and this king of wands because as sure as i'm sitting here there is going to be a fight between the two of them okay there is going to be a fight when they see each other so cancer if you're interested in the extended 
um, I, you know, I just want to get to the T, right? Um, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box that'll take you straight to Patreon, okay? I'll meet you guys over there. Um, and uh, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Get ready, Cancer, because I'm telling you this person's coming back for their person, okay? Um, anyway, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.